Hey, what's up true believers? All right, here we go with an older figure review right here. X-Men Origins Wolverine comic series Wolverine. I got this, uh, was it Kmart or Sears? Oh, it was a Sears Essentials. Uh, one of the old Kmarts that had been converted to Sears. It was reduced to seven, but when it scanned, it was actually four bucks. So I was like, cool gotta grab it you know I didn't pick this guy up I actually didn't pick up many of the uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine figures when they were out at retail I, I got comic series Deadpool uh, and Weapon X I think those are the only two I ever got um, comic series Weapon X so anyway so for four bucks you know for a cool Wolverine figure can't go wrong so let's I'll read his little bio for you as a member of Alpha Flight, Wolverine knew the satisfaction of a soldier. It was not until he joined the X-Men, however, that he knew what it meant to fight for a cause. Now he battles not just for his future, but the future of his species. Uh, which I'm assuming is for mutants, <laughs> rather than us regular humans, or both, you know. Anyway, so let me get this thing opened up and I'll give you guys a closer look. All right. So there's a figure. He does come with a katana. It's a little warped. It's really, really kind of loose plastic, uh, but that's all right. Uh, you can always use the warm water thing to kind of straighten that out. Either way, so here's the figure itself. Right off the bat, I think it's a really cool figure. Uh, it's got a really, the sculpt is really nice. It's it's fairly you know accurate to to his appearance in this costume you know in the comics which is cool I like it you know it makes a great modern comic version of Wolverine uh, so let's go over articulation real quick neck shoulders elbows wrists mid torso hips uh, it's got a thigh swivel double knees and ankles yeah so pretty cool um, really not much to say uh, just it's basically a really cool figure I can say that much uh, you get some really decent poses out of them Probably the one downside, although it's cool for certain for certain poses, uh, is his left wrist. See how it's bent? It's you know it's like going inward like that. Uh, so you know, couldn't really put his his arms straight down, or else he'd be like slicing at his thighs. But it's pretty cool, you know, for for poses like that or whatever. Uh, pretty cool. Let me see. Yeah, he can hold this hold the sword pretty well. Um, it's kind of weird though, since you know the the claws are permanently out. It's like kind of weird he'd be using the sword with his claws hanging out too. But yeah, bottom line, paint apps are good. Nice detail on the face and the hair. Uh, no major flaws to mention. Articulation good, sculpt good. So. All in all, it's a really cool figure. Nothing really amazing. Nothing really bad to say about it either. Uh, just all around, pretty cool. You know, if you like Wolverine. Uh, okay, just want to make sure there was no wrist swivel here. Uh, yeah, so that is kind of a bit of downside. So he'd always have to be posed with his claws outward or something like that. But all in all, uh, pretty cool figure. I recommend it. I know there's like a tons of versions of Wolverine out there, so you definitely have your your choices. You know, there's several in the Marvel Universe line, uh, but this one will suffice for me for a comic version of Wolverine, at least for the time being, and until one comes out that's like, ooh, that's my must-have, my definitive comic version of Wolverine. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine. Comic series Wolverine without without the mask is the version without the mask, which is cool. I I prefer him without the mask. 
Uh, so there you have it. Cool. Thanks for watching.